What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie, okay, not really an indie game, this is published by Nacon, but still, we're gonna check it out because it seems pretty cool and I'm just working my way down a list at this point. On Monday, I sat around for a couple of hours just going through every single page of every single demo and kind of finding stuff that fits what I look for in games, and this one was on the list. We are at that point on the list, so now it is time to go. We're playing some Crown Wars Black Prince. As far as I understand it, this is a medieval strategy RPG that focuses kind of on brutality and dark fantasy. I'm excited about that, so off we go to play for about 30 minutes. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, I got a link for you down below in the description. On top of that, you can also take a look down there, find a link to my Twitch stream and my Discord. Let's go ahead and hit it. Many historians have recounted this war between France and England, but not all facts have been told. Okay, not fantasy, it's medieval history. Poitiers, 1356. After fighting to complete exhaustion, the King of France, John II, is defeated. The King of England's son, the Black Prince, takes him as a prisoner. For more than 20 years, the royal houses had been fighting for the crown of the most powerful kingdom in the Occidental world. It was a war of chivalry, kings and princes. A war between families, rival houses and cousins. A war fought according to the conventions of feudalism. But with neither side willing to kneel to the other, the war became a costly endeavor, attracting the most bloodthirsty of mercenaries. And in the shadows, there were those who resorted to unspeakable methods exploring mystical powers involving the occult. In the midst of this turmoil, with chaos reigning all round, a group of compassionate men and women gathered in secret to fight an insidious threat, more horrifying than the war itself. Thank you, my dear brothers and sisters, for having come from so far away. The Brotherhood is facing a formidable challenge in these troubling times. It's true. The King of France has been defeated and captured by the English. And we must continue to keep out of political matters. Of course, but that's not why the Council has gathered here today. What was that? See what's going on. Are we under attack? We must prepare for the worst. The Brotherhood's documents are of the utmost importance. We mustn't let anyone get hold of them. For the documents, of course. We must protect the documents. Good God, what's happening? Sire, we must leave right away. We are under heavy attack. We can't flee and leave our documents here. We should send a message to warn Nicholas. We can't risk being captured. My friends, the day we all feared has arrived. We must burn our documents. We cannot let ourselves be captured. You, go to the main gate. Organize the defense. We need to buy ourselves time. Very well. We'll meet again before God. They're already here. So I guess we go into battle. Let's take a look at this movement system. So it looks like we've got double reserved AP and then we've got a movement AP on in there if the blinking blue means anything that I've recognized before. Let's see if maybe we can set up so I get attack of opportunity. So we'll go ahead and move right up on this guy because if I tried to rotate, he'd get a free strike on us, I think, from what the iconography was saying. And then we've got this beautiful little toolbar down here, which actually looks really good. So we've got champion's fighting style. You unleash zealous fury, and while the fighting style is selected, you have 10% power bonus. We also have defender. I can do crusher right now, smash down on the target with your hammer, dealing 5 to 9. Looks like we can have an overwatch as well, so the game does incorporate melee overwatches there. We have verdict. We can chase in the target and deal 5 to 9 blunt damage, and if we've taken damage during this turn, it hits even harder. 
Ooh, I could have charged ahead and smacked him. Now I feel bad Heathen. about myself. That's right, heathen! Be slain by the power of my hammer. I didn't expect to get a fatality for that. All right, so it looks like we can move a shorter distance called sprinting. I don't think this character's gonna make it. If I know my video game tutorials, I feel like there's a pretty strong chance that this person's gonna get got. Ow! You tickled me. Can't believe you've done this. We're a little bit, like, outnumbered right now. Doggy! Get wrecked! It'll buff out. He'll be fine. He's just sleeping. That's a nap time axe. It's not It's not a for serious axe. Don't worry about it. This is not an R-rated game. All right. He's just taking a little... Okay. Western ramparts and attackers pass by. If the gate falls, we're done for. That's not his brain mass on the ground right there. He was. He just had like a mouthful. He had, he had a mouthful of toast and jam when when he got hit in the face by the play axe. It wasn't. It wasn't real. Don't worry. There's nothing to shock the children here. Uh, I'm just gonna smush this guy. Honestly, if the move works, don't change it up. I mean, that worked on the last guy too. And if you can sweep the leg, why not do it? Uh, let's move over and I guess square off with this guy. I don't know if it's a good idea, but hey, we'll go Fighting Stance Defender. So we have a chance to inflict Taunted whenever we hit an enemy. All right. This guy also has stuff he can do. Is there going to be flanking we want to be aware of here? Can I attack from my, from from a diagonal? I'm about to find out. Stab with your dagger dealing damage with a chance to do... Yeah, let's just do that right there. Just hit him. Yeah, hit him with an axe a little bit. Teach him a lesson. Give him a little bit of an old knifey, knifey, stabby, stabby, too. Give him the old buttered bread routine. I think, does the dog have a turn? The dog has a turn, too? Come on, buddy. You can come over here with me. Yeah, we don't leave our dogs out in the woods on this one. His name is Beck. That's a really good name for a dog. I don't think there is, like, a bad name for a dog unless you name him Cat or something. Reach the gates. All right, get behind cover. I don't know how this is all going to play out or what we're going to see when we spy the enemy over here. Ready when you are. But let's just have everybody get behind a crate or maybe something that blocks arrow fire. Doggy, you get over here with me too. Yeah, come hang out and stay safe right next to the heavily armored woman that's like nine foot tall. You'll be safe there. Defensive stance, doggy. Defend thyself. Let's blue move up. Blue moving up was obviously a wise decision. <laughs> He's just hiding wide out in the open. <laughs> I don't know why that arrow sound is so comical to me. Like the sound of him getting hit by the arrow and then like the flinching of the reaction. I don't know. It was funny to me. I can't explain exactly why. It had like a comical tone to it. All right, so there's four guys left. We have a number of people with the high ground. What do they do? Acid flask. That feels something like a war crime, but I guess you know what they say. It's not a war crime the first time. We've got armor piercing arrows right there. I'm gonna suggest we get rid of anybody that has a bow first so that the rest of them actually have to close the gap. Yield. Good stuff. Can you fire again? Yield. Oh, he's got dodge. That's unfortunate. Don't like that. Okay, uh, stay where you're at, actually. I mean, there's only one guy with a bow. At worst, we get, like, a little tiny bit scuffied. My man threw an axe through reality and hit me in the side of the head with it. A little bit disrespected. Not super happy with the way that that went down. But I understand sometimes you have to throw an incorporeal axe that can pass through stone walls and hit me in the face. Did I just bypass, like, an entire turn? I thought I was bypassing their turn. I think I did. Okay. Maybe I should just stay away from the end turn button. That might be a good idea. Let's go ahead and crossbow you real fast. Indeed. Die. That's the spirit. 
That's what I like to hear. Fall back towards our lines. Over here, we got ourselves uh, somebody that thinks they're a closer. Can you go to there without getting hit? You can. Yay. Uh, let's go ahead and smack him with the old axe dirk. That's what it says right there. It says it's an axe dirk. Okay, he's poisoned, so hopefully he'll, like, die on the next turn. But I guess I can clear him up with the dog. I mean, historically, that's what you use the hound for, to run somebody down that was already defeated. Bite him! Good boy! Chopper sick balls! Ooh, they redacted it like Jurassic Park style. Our dog has Spielberg running through his veins. At your uh, service. Archer, I don't know if maybe you want to be nowhere near the battlefield right now. Because you've been smacked in the face with an axe. The animations look pretty good here, actually. How far can you fire? Okay, let's just overwatch then. I'll cover this area. We'll overwatch that guy right there. And command. then my knight still has a turn left. Let's go ahead and move the knight up behind this box over here, just so that when the melee guy decides to go around, he doesn't instantaneously gain access to our crossbow guy. Uh, let's see if we can set up an overwatch right there, too. Hopefully the enemy is not informed of said overwatch. Otherwise, overwatch probably a little bit pointless in that regard. My man went up and over the top like an action movie hero. Fair enough. He dodged my overwatch. They are aware of your overwatch, which then kind of begs the question... Why have the Overwatch in the first place, I guess. They do go around it, though, which is smarter than I expected for a yes. video game. I would maybe suggest... I Actually, I watched a really, really interesting talk. I don't remember who it was by. I watched a really interesting Ready talk by a game developer about designing stupid enemies to make your game more satisfying. Heathen! Heathen. Suffer Heathen. the crushing malice of God! Ah! I'm gonna probably go back into attack mode right At there. You seem to be Yield. shockingly out of cover right now for being in crossbowing range. So I would suggest that you, that you taste my fletching, nerd. Does that splash? Splash his ass with acid. There we go. For the disrespect. I know that it's not gonna kill him, but still. Throwing acid on a guy feels like one of those, like, nah! Like one of those things that you do when you're trying to be controversial. Let's run this guy down real fast. I may have the dog go up with him just to sort of back him up a little bit, I guess. You can do an axe strike right there, which is good. I don't know what that little pip is right there, if it's some kind of armor or what it might be. But does the dog come assist the master, or does the dog come engage in a glorious flamberge fight? I don't know. It's a tough call. Assist the master, I guess. We'll show some loyalty out here. He's an agile dog. He's been doing his training courses. Good for him. Bite him. Good stuff. At your service. Uh, I do have an archer over here. Since that guy is locked down inside enemy control, I don't think we need to worry about cover or anything anymore. We'll just You're go for mine. a headshot out here. Ow, dropped him. I didn't expect that to kill him right there. Good stuff. Thank you. The council will destroy the documents. We must hold the main gate. Yes, the enemy's quickly gathering. I saw them from the rooftops. They're trying to force the gate open. We don't have much time. We must stop them here. They'll rue the day they attacked us. Forward! All right, we have been officially spotted by the enemy. If I wanted to heal people, does it splash? Yeah, go ahead and throw a healing flask. There we go. Let the effervescent vapors slowly work their way up your anus and make you feel better. A lot of people don't know this, but in medieval times, all medical science were suppositories. It's just the way things worked back then. Nobody liked it. People constantly complained about it, but what can be done? Medical science can only advance so far. At your service. At your service. All right, let's go after this guy right here. I don't know if this guy... Oh, you and your beast fight as one. So apparently you can combine teamwork. Big grappling strike right there. Yep, do a little bit of chiropractic work on the old spine. Maybe lock down the bowman. Ow, he punched me. Lock down the bowman right there. Bring up the dog. He's our secret weapon. The power of the good boy. 
it bristles within him. Man, he just went like straight for the scalp. <laughs> Head and shoulders ain't gonna fix that. Okay, let's bring up a uh, big bad mace mama. Big bad mace mama out here, ready to pole hammer somebody hard. Get him, Mace Mama. There we go. That's I don't even know what her name is anymore. I'm just calling her Mace Mama from now on. Service. That's it. That's a done deal. It's written into the lore at this point. That's Mace Mama. You're mine. Oh, dodged an arrow in flight. You're mine. There we go. You got to say the same voice line twice for the cinematic effect. Be like, no, no, no. Just edit that last one out. Edit that last one out. Somebody, the director, you can't use that take. Don't use that take. I'll say the line again. I'll fire the arrow again. He'll go down, okay? Uh, we killed three out of four in one turn. So these guys are kind of squishy. Ow. My butt. It has been penetrated with a dagger. Move the dog in. Yeah, just completely surround this guy. I want to see what doggy teamwork looks like. Together. Okay, it does exactly what I thought it would do, kind of war tale style. There are still many enemies. Let's hope our brothers and sisters of the council had enough time. Regardless, we must continue until the very end if we must. It's kind of a weird voice for a berserker named Johan. I don't know, I expected him to sound like the guy in Kingdom of Heaven. You know the one I'm talking about, the guy that catches the crossbow bolt to the neck and he's like Bleh. There's a very slight numerical advantage taking place right there that I find concerning. Do you think they're okay? <laughs> the head of your family dies a sudden and violent death, while France, in its defeat, plunges into civil war. With your family ruined, fate forces you to flee your lands and wander the roads in exile. But don't lose hope. I'm offering you a new start. A small and secluded domain within the kingdom. For now, you need only know that I was a friend of the head of your family, and my name is. Sir, this is France. We spell domain like Demesne, sir. You spell it properly. This is France. All right, so welcome to Crown Wars. Oh, that was just the intro. I figured it was, but let's take a look. Uh, we have inherited a domain. Go to the Lord's Hall, do some stuff. All right. To the Lord's Hall in my awesome castle. So we have a number of companions at the beginning of the game. We've got Godfrey Balmer. That's a sick dude. We gotta bring back dope names like Godfrey and think we don't we get everybody's named like I don't know Braden or something nowadays. Do you gotta bring back the dope names like Charles Godfrey? Like if I had a son, he's getting like a dope ass name that storms the walls, man. Gwenael, apparently. We have Antilio. We don't get to know the dog's name. That's a bummer. He was who I was looking. This guy has a bear. So he just brought that along with him. Willibert, huh? Okay. We have Elise. Oh, it looks like they upgrade their gear and they... Ooh, we got a, like a mace guy? I love Mason Shield, dude. Mason Shield is like my favorite. All right, so what do we do here? Like, I got to figure out where we're going. To the greater wide world we go. Actions on the domain or on the map of France take a certain number of days to complete. To speed up time, you can pass it. Okay. Take your squad a certain number of days to reach battle. Fair. We've got the Sack of St. Martin over there. Well, obviously, we must ride to save St. Martin. I don't know anything about France, but this may be the place where they make Remy Martin, and Remy Martin is really, really important to me. We must save the brandy. So I figure it's probably a good idea to bring a guy with a bear. That just feels like a force multiplier that we can't get around. And we've got, like, a knife lady. We probably want to get some ranged up in there. So it looks like we get to carry four guys with us for any of the main campaigns, which really does kind of swing in for action economy and for turn economy. It does make the pet classes a little bit more interesting because technically you're getting a fifth guy or a sixth guy or a seventh guy even if you do a full Beastmaster run. Let's do this thing. Doesn't look like we have anything that we can swap around. What does she have on her right now? So she's got poison grenades. She's got bandages. 
Maybe we'll put in some bandages over there because I'm not a big grenade user in games like this. What does he have? A balm. Restores 25% HP. And then it looks like the actual heavy warriors can't really carry too much. We'll go like that right there. We'll just bring the bombs with us and hopefully we don't bleed too much. Oh, you've got a halberd. Interesting. Okay. Send the companions to save St. Martin. Four days en route. Let's pass time. Oh, there goes our little guy right there. We've got like a little token on the map. Your squads has reached a battle. Prepare. Start the battle. A glorious battle it shall be. All right, so enter the village, find Nicholas. Let's see if this guy knows anything about old Nicholas. Oh, mercy. King Edward ordered us to destroy everything, to burn everything, but the voices. Voices are whispering in our heads. <laughs> My men have gone mad. The voices, they won't stop calling out. Ah! Voice acting leaves a little something to be desired there. A little bit stilted. A little bit stilted. Uh, let's pull into cover over here. It looks like they've got like a vision radius. So we probably want to endeavor. Oops. We probably want to endeavor to maybe like stay in cover. Get ourselves into a position where we can ambush on the first turn. Like maybe close the gap if we can get in behind like the crates over here. Might be a good idea. So we go through this little alleyway. Ooh. There's like a scorpion or something up there, and I can operate it? Oh, buddy, you done That's messed up now. You done messed up now, chief. I, won't fail you. I mean, I only told you to go walk, so if you did fail me, I'd be like, well, I have really failed to select my pa companions properly. I'm ready. All right, we'll get over to here, we'll wait a turn, and we'll kind of just see what they do. I'm going to see if I can get somebody onto the old uh, ballista up there, though. So the enemies don't really move around. However, in order to get up there, we do have to trigger everybody. I'm going to do it. We've been spotted. I like how they give you so many little cutscenes. That guy put all of his points in shininess before they... Dude, he's dead. Relax. Make a mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. <laughs> all the guys behind him are like, Sir, we're waiting for orders. What should we do? Not now. I'm breathing heavily and staring at the camera. This is my moment. A crossbow shot. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, yeah, dude. That's what's up. Let's do it. We got her over here. Might be better to put her behind a crate or something. But if we can drop one of the big guys first. Like, that guy's got an awfully large sword. And I feel pretty... I, I, feel, I feel like pretty factually we want to get rid of him first. Unfortunately, we lack the damage to do it, but maybe our mace guy can get up in there and give him the old doinks, clunk it out a little bit. Oh. I have encouraged my allies as I ran up behind the foe into the fray. I do like the range of movement. That's really nice. Like, sometimes in games like this, I feel like really, really, really... Wait, why did he move over to there? Strange. Does that guy have a crossbow? I thought I put him right there, but it looks like he, like, stepped back or something. I don't suppose he has a charge or something. No. Okay. I didn't want to have a charge anyways. Fight the bear. I like how he goes up on his hind legs, though. That's kind of cool. Yes. That's going to be, like, all of his movement. Yeah, just go ahead and, like, circle up over here, I guess. We'll kind of just, like, get on top of him, I suppose, and wait for the next turn. B. 
big dodge right there. Love to see it. The enemy does get the benefit of the same movement, though, too. So that's one thing you're going to want to keep in mind. And they focus fire. Interesting. Fair enough. Oh, they shot the bear right there, too. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's see who we can clunk in order to make this happen. Out of my way. It's going to take us a double clunk over here due to a bad damage roll to finish him off. But then we are treated to a, a nice little execute animation right there. I would say go over there. And then on the next turn, we'll try to rush him. This guy's about to feel the mittens of the bear. Taste forth the mittens. My scratches are ferocious. Oh, so he can only... So he stands up and moves to a cell in front. It only occupies one cell. He stands on all fours and does two cells. What's the difference? Will he not do it if he doesn't have space to do it? Maybe that's why he's set up right there. Can he move back over to here? There we go. Get him on all fours. So he scratches with his claws and does five to six. What's the difference between these two? Huh. Can I, can I fire the bow again? He resisted the bleed, but he took the damage. Okay. Join the fray. A poison dagger or a smashing mace. Remove an armor point. Oh no, he parried! That's terrible. I hate everything about that. Don't parry. Zero to five. Do you get like some kind of damage bonus from being up top? Go get up right there real fast. I don't know if we get an altitude bonus to our damage. Let's give it a try though. Maybe I can blind this guy. Okay, I'll take it. He's in a weird spot. Ready to go. And then he's getting chewed on by like the entire universe. Might be an okay idea to restore the old 25% HP. They do seem to be really dedicated to going after you. I guess I could do a grappling strike on that guy. We only got to make it like another turn. I don't know how much further. Yeah, it looks like this is. Well, there might be another. There might be another fight over there. So I guess we'll find out in a minute. Is that everybody's turn? Check everything. There we go. Okay, a little bit of fire spread around right there. Man, they really like to focus fire. Get him back here. May justice be served. Bust this dude up a little bit. Heathen. That's right, he's a heathen. Yes. I'll be quick to finish. Don't expect mercy. Perfect. Yes. Up here. A twisted head bolt. Do that one. Good stuff. Cutthroat's been hit. Line him up with an arrow. Zap. Down he goes. I don't know what that did right there, but it looks like it's going to increase our crit chance by a bunch. Go. Uh, go lock down the archer. Yes, that feels like a very strong play. And then Bearski, get on over here, buddy. Ready to go. Coordinated strike. This guy. I was going to say, I, I, was the bear going to attack or is he just doing that for themat like thematic reasons? I'm a little bit concerned right now. He was sitting there thinking about it. Like, you fed the bear last night, right? We're not going to have any potential loyalty issues here that we're going to have to sort out. You fed the bear last night. You gave him his picnic basket, right? All right, so we've got that done. Onwards and outwards we go, I suppose.
At your service. If anybody has a bomb that they can throw on somebody, I would appreciate it. Who has a bomb right now? Let's go ahead and lick our wounds in between the fights here. All right, so we're all bombed up. We haven't picked up any bleeds yet, which is good. Actually At thankful for that. Send the warrior up With first me. to go peek around the corner right there and see what we're up against. We haven't had any of our armor shredded too, which I think is also good. I don't see anything, but there's dead guys up there, so I'm guessing we're probably going to have to fight some more guys. Either way, though, it feels like a pretty good XCOM-style tactical game so far. Yes. I'd like to build up the castle a little bit and see what that management portion of the game looks like. But alas, we're running out of time for the episode. I'm impressed with the animations. I like the storyline and how it's based in historical go. reality. I dig that with a little bit of a fantasy bent to it. The voice acting's pretty terrible, but, like, what are you going to do? The executions are fun. I'll be keeping an eye on it. This is Crown Prince. You can go play this demo right now if you're into these kinds of games. I'll catch you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. My name is Splattercat. I sit through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye, folks.